Just sitting in a chair is a bad idea. You're just going to bake in the sun. You're going to feel like you're in the middle of Death Valley, and you'll need to crawl and crawl and crawl to get some water. So the next step up from just having a chair is to get one of these umbrellas that attach to your chair with a little bit of a clamp. But here's the problem. They don't really cover anything. No matter how I bend this, parts of my tender, tender body are going to be outside. And on a windy day, the wind's going to catch this, and it's going to be a disaster. It's never going to stay in the same place. So we need to move to my best solution ever. I want to thank the folks at East Hills Outdoors for providing this product for me to look at because I think it's awesome. Let me show you how quickly you can put it up. Once it's out of the bag, just unfold it. Unfold the leg. Grab the two orange cords and just pull. Let's take it down. We've got two orange bars up here on the top. Press down on those. Leave the apron out to the front. Hold in the leg. Hold the apron back over. Roll it up and put it back in the bag. Let's cover some of the great features about this tent and I'll show you a mistake that I made that you won't need to make. The first thing is that there are these great flaps that cover the windows if you don't want the breeze to come through. And there are tie downs at each corner that allow you to lock the window down. Then when you want to roll it up to get the breeze, you just roll it up. And here's the mistake I made I thought that these tie downs attached to this, but no, there's a tie down underneath here that allows you to roll up the window nice and tight to be able to get all the breeze. That's pretty slick. Here's some of the other neat features about this tent. First, each window has pockets underneath where you can put stuff to keep it out of the way and off the ground. The other great thing is the front flap that I've got folded under right now. Let me show you how that works. The front flap extends all the way out, so you can have a picnic here without getting sand and all your stuff. You know, your kids can play here or whatever, and they're going to be protected from the ground. This is really handy if you're fishing on the shore and you're putting this up on damp grass. You don't want to get all wet. But here's the other cool thing. It zips up, so if you need to change after being at the beach or whatever you're doing, you have some privacy to do that. That is pretty neat. But again, don't go to sleep in here. It's not waterproof. Each side of the tent has these bags that you can put sand into to hold it down, and it's really easy to get the sand out because of the Velcro. And now you're ready to pack it up. You could also just use these five pound weights if you have a gazebo that you're not willing to put up. Pretty sweet. This thing went up in under a minute. There's room for two of these chairs underneath here and I'm protected from the sun. I can look out, check out my line and be very comfortable sitting in here. I've got a good cross ventilation with the three windows the tent comes from. And if the sun was coming through one of these, it's an easy matter of popping these toggles, dropping the window and attaching it at the bottom. This is sweet. So what do you guys think? 
I think this is a great solution for fishing from the shore, or in my case, fishing from the surf. I can be in here, I can orient the tent to give me the maximum protection from the sun, and enjoy a day watching the waves break, and maybe even catching a fish. If you have experience with this East Hills Outdoors product, throw it down below. And I'm really glad they gave this one to me to evaluate, because I know I'm going to use it a lot. Thanks.